You are watching the protocol.tv. You know, obviously the bit license is a pretty popular topic right now, and um, certain regulations uh, can be feel good measures. Jaron Lukasevich is founder and CEO of Coinsetter. Coinsetter finds itself in a very unique position in the fight over the bit license, Bitcoin specific regulation coming out of the financial capital of the world. If Bitcoin is made to conform, what is its value? This is Jaron Lukasevich of Coinsetter. How has your view of Bitcoin changed over time? I think the reason why I'm passionate about Bitcoin now is very different from why I originally got into it. Um, you know, when I originally got into it, one of my best friends became obsessive about it, wouldn't stop talking about it. Um, I thought it sounded very stupid at first, but then as I read about it, I uh, quickly, you know, uh, came to a different conclusion. So, you know, I uh, left my job at that point and I was just focusing on this full time. And early on in Bitcoin, I think everyone was very idealistic. This is 2012. Um, everyone was very idealistic and um, and Bitcoin was was really just a novel concept. Um, it didn't. It wasn't very valuable at the time, and it was. It was just very early stage. So you know, the way I looked at it, it it also wasn't with the same depth that I look at it now. So now I really look at it more from uh, you know whether it has to do with the underbanked and uh, and the the huge ways I think that um, you know we're going to displace the remittance industry over the coming years. Um, and then also just the banking system and uh, and the arbitrary regulations that have been put in place that um, I don't think really do a good job of achieving the goals that the government and and probably the majority of society would want. So, you know, I think Bitcoin um, and and the blockchain do provide that alternative. So I would say that whatever I was passionate about in 2012, um, you know, the way I look at it is slightly different, but it, it's uh, it's it's much more increased um, in terms of how passionate I am about what we're doing, what the industry is doing, and specifically how the technology addresses um, the regular the the missteps that have been uh, put in place through regulation over the past years. Um, I think that we can ultimately create uh, a better regulatory framework and a better uh, uh, payment system. What is wrong with the current banking system? Payments are so expensive um, for everyone in society right now, um, from top to bottom and especially to bottom. Uh, and, and money really isn't yours anymore. Uh, so I think if you look at the banking sector, you know, uh, one of the roles that a bank plays is the movement of money. And uh, just based on where regulation has gone over the past years, um, you know, uh, your, your money really, you really don't own your money anymore. And if you want to move it, it's, it's extremely costly. Uh, which, which to me just doesn't isn't right. So, uh, I'm I'm really a big fan of Bitcoin because of how it's built. So, you know, Bitcoin is is a is a technology that allows you to do whatever you want with your money, but it still leaves a, a small trace so that you know people can uh, whether you need to verify that an invoice was paid or um, if uh, funds are being used for for very bad things. Uh, you know that that can ultimately be tracked down too. But that happens afterwards. Um, I think. The whole idea of you being asked uh, where you're sending funds before you've sent them, uh, with the bank really having no uh, real idea of you know whether it's it's right or wrong, they're just using their gut check. It 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 uh, it's not a, the proper regulatory regime, but that's really where things have gone, uh, especially over the last ten years. What are your thoughts on the bit license? Operating in New York puts us a little bit closer to uh, the front lines of regulation. Obviously, the bit license is a pretty popular topic right now. And, um, you know, just being there and able to, uh, you know, we've been able to meet with the DFS. And, you know, I think some people have have mentioned that, you know, government is purposefully trying to make uh, it more difficult for companies to operate in the space. I don't think that that is true. Um, ultimately, I think the regulators are trying to protect consumers and, and that's their job and they feel a responsibility to do that. Um, we want to make sure, as people who are closer to the technology and ultimately going to bear the cost, that uh, the correct regulations are put in place and that they're not overly burdensome. It's, it's actually funny. Uh, I think I've heard other people use the term overly burdensome before, and it never really had a lot of meaning until now when uh, you know I'm kind of in the space, in the fight. And I understand uh, the idea that you know certain regulations uh, can be feel-good measures. Uh, uh, ultimately, we shouldn't place regulations that are feel-good measures. They should be ones that 
uh, legitimately uh, protect consumers if that's the goal or protect against money laundering if that's the goal. Um, but they should do so in a way that um, is, is actually helpful and, uh, and not just um, uh, kind of something that people were able to agree on because that was easy. Does being based in New York City hurt you? Being in New York is a competitive advantage for our company. Uh, first of all, you know, uh, just because we're closer to, to our regulators. Um, but second, it really puts us closer to our customers. Um, you know, we, while we do, uh, you know, have a big emphasis on, uh, on gaining traction with Bitcoin companies, and I think that we've built the best platform out there for them, um, ultimately, you know, we, we have something new to bring to the table, especially on Wall Street. Uh, you know, a lot of this has to do with our low latency systems and our fixed API. And really what we do is make it easy for uh, market makers who have been sitting on the sidelines to come in and, and participate in the Bitcoin industry. So ultimately, I think that all companies in the space uh, deal with very similar uh, regulatory requirements. So whether you're based in New York or you're based in San Francisco or Panama, um, if you're targeting U.S. customers, you you will have to comply with the same regulation. So, um, you know, while I think I don't think that uh, our, our location really changes anything from a requirement standpoint or makes it necessarily any more difficult to start our company. But, you know, be, being located where we are does have the added benefit of just kind of adding the, the human element. What is your outlook on the price of Bitcoin? I think that there are some pretty interesting fundamentals going on in the market right now. Um, you know, first of all, if you if you just look at who the the industry market participants are, um, you have industry you have companies in the space who always need to sell Bitcoin, and these are are natural uh, everyday sellers. Uh, they include miners, they include payment processors primarily. Um, you, so ultimately, you always have downward selling pressure on the Bitcoin price. Um, to counteract that, you need people who consistently want to buy Bitcoin, and the problem to date has been that um, ultimately that that uh, um, that demand for Bitcoin is is very retail in nature. It's not business focused, and and there's a reason for that. Um, you know, you've seen a lot of companies focus on merchant processing. The regulation on the merchant processing side is a lot easier to uh, to achieve than it is on on uh, on kind of the Bitcoin exchange side or the buy side. So, you know, I think we're going to see um, you know. Uh, a, we're going to have at least another year of uh, of kind of low prices. Uh, I hate to say it, but um, you know I think that there there is that constant downward pressure, and until regulation is really sorted out across the U.S., uh, you know it's not going to be easy to create companies um, in the space. That's not always going to be the case, um, but until that becomes a, an endeavor that uh, people can feel good about. Um, that, that'll be the time when, uh, when the Bitcoin price starts to rise. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to know about new videos from the protocol.tv.